everybody, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2017 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 4. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's move on to question 4. So this is question 4 and this question is testing us on speed. So let's read the question first. When Latif started cycling from his home, Kelly was 90 meters ahead. Latif's cycling speed was 5 meters per second and Kelly's jogging speed was 1 meters per second. They went in the same direction and did not change their speeds throughout. What distance would Latif have cycled when he caught up with Kelly? Okay, so basically this question, now you can highlight it, right? And I'll explain to you what, what are they actually asking us. So when Latif started cycling, from his home. So Kelly was already 90 meters ahead. Ah. So Latif cycling speed, they are telling us the information and Kelly's jogging speed was 1 meters per second. Okay, so they went in the same direction. Okay, same direction. They did not go in opposite direction and they never changed their speeds throughout the journey. So that means Latif uh, remained 5 meters per second throughout until and then Kelly Kelly's jogging speed was 1 meter per second throughout. So you never change. Okay. So they're asking us what distance would Latif have cycled when he caught up with Kelly. Okay. So obviously Latif should have caught up with Kelly, right? He's using the cycle. Kelly is just jogging. So first, the difference between them at the start is basically 90 meters, right? And then the difference between their speeds is 5 meters minus 1 meters per second, right? So, before you even start doing the question, you should draw this DST triangle, yes. So, even if you remember all the formulas, right, you should draw it like distance equal to speed times time, time equals to distance over speed, and speed equals to distance over time. And every speed is total distance over total time. Okay, so these are the four main formulas you need to know, all in one tiny triangle. Okay, so you don't need to draw it this big. You can just draw it uh, really small in the corner, uh, so that you can see it for your own reference. I'm drawing this so that you all can see it. Okay, and it will be clearer. So now, first step, we need to know how the distance between them right the big difference i might say so the big difference is basically the distance at first the difference in the distance at first between them so latif was 90 meters behind kelly that means kelly was 90 meters ahead that is why the difference is 90 meters so now we need to know the small difference the small difference so we are using the big difference small difference concept here so this is the small difference. It is basically 5 meters per second minus 1 meters per second. It will give us 4 meters per second. Okay, so this is the small difference. So I've always told you um, big difference divided by small difference in assumption, right? So we do the same thing over here. So time taken for Latif to catch up with Kelly is basically distance divided by speed. So the distance is 90 meters and the speed is 4 meters per second, right? So this is the time taken for Latif to catch up. It's 22.5 seconds. And if you do not remember distance divided by speed is equal to time, you can just look at the triangle over here. So time, right? This is T means time, right? So it's distance divided by speed. Okay. Now I think you understand it. So it's 22.5 seconds. 22.5 five seconds this is how long he took to catch up such a less time right he can catch up so fast so now what distance will have like this cycle when he caught up with kelly so we already know the time to catch up with kelly so we need to know the distance distance is equal to speed times time we know the time already but what's the speed we also know the speed latte speed did not change right so it's always five meters per second so that is why in order to find the distance traveled by Latif is equal to speed times time, okay? Which will give us, which is basically 5 meters per second times 22.5 seconds, okay? So this is the speed times time, which will give us an answer of 112.5 meters, 
Okay, so this is the answer for question 4, testing us on speed. Okay, so I hope you understood my explanation for this question. Thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!